Hi everyone, it's Daisy, and today my project is from my preschool friends. It is from a book called Duck Duck Goose Goose. It is about two friends, a duck and a goose, that find each other and uh, how they spend their day together. So we'll draw and color like we always do. Now we are going to be painting. So if you wish to, you can use tempera paints, watercolors, um, or watercolor inks, whatever you prefer. And I hope you work alongside your toddler. It encourages them. Hope you enjoy. Hi everyone. Our project for today is for preschool and it is called Duck Duck Goose Goose. Two friends, one is a goose, one is a duck, and we are going to draw both of them sitting next to each other having a conversation. So let's start. So two uh, creatures, we're going to place heads here. So the heads move away from the side, come in a little bit, and you're going to create a circle for their head. One, and go across here and make another circle. Two. So one will be a goose, the other will be a duck. Next, you are going to touch the top of this one and you're going to take it out coming downward and then come from the bottom and you're going to connect the beak. So this is how you're going to make the beak on this one. Now you can stop the video at any time and help your young one to catch up or I would encourage that you draw your own picture alongside them. It really motivates them. Next, you're going to create their eye and they are looking at each other. So the black part will be right here and they're going to be right there for the eyebrow. Last but not least, the, the geese have got a black marking. So this part, if you have, if you're drawing with a pen, pencil, whatever, you want to mark this one off as in black. Like so. Next, come down. So the body is going to come up to here. So you can mark where you're coming to. Touch the head, two small lines close together. But by the time you go to the body, you start moving apart and you will connect to that line. Start moving apart and connect to this line. So it's like, um, sort of like a bowling pin. Feet. You want to touch the body here, make a line, come back to where you touch, make a U and then bring it back and you can close their foot up like this. You're going to touch to the opposite side, take the line out, come back to where you touched, curve and close. So that becomes feet and again in the case of the geese it will be black. There's a book that we read to our preschoolers. It is called Duck Duck Goose Goose. And these pictures are illustrated in those books. So if you think that your young one really enjoys birds, ducks and all, it's a great book to kind of find at a bookstore and just go through it with them if you don't want to buy it. Next, down here, not near the neck, you're going to touch the body and bring a line out and out. Don't try to close it right away. Then from his bottom, going to bring it in. So this finishes our goose. It's got the eyes, the beak, and everything. Let's go and make our duck next. So the duck needs a beak first. The beak is not like the goose. So the duck has a straighter line, comes back, and it touches the head. This would be the line on your duck. And it is talking to the goose, so you can add one more line down here, just where you connect it to the head, and you can give the bottom of the beak right there. Take a little time, stop the video here, and catch up on this step. Now, 
make another eye, have him looking at his friend, and give him his eyebrow right there. Next step, just like you gave your goose a bottom, give your duck right under the head, touch, take your finger, slide yourself all the way down, mark where's the bottom of its body. Make him a neck like this. Now touch the bottom of the neck and then bring around the body so that it all connects up. There you go. Now touch right here on the corner, straight line out, and you're going to make his feet, just like you did for your goose. You want to make sure they touch the body, like so. And last but not least are the wings. So coming out, coming out, and then bring them in, and then bring them in. And this finishes our drawing. Oh, one more thing, the horizon line. So right over here, you can make a line that goes across behind both the duck and the geese. So this will be sky and this will be land. And let's start our work. Now remember, the goose will be white, so you don't have to color it, but the, you do need to work on its beak. And the duck, and the duck is fine as is. I'm going to get... For your young ones, a good brush to start working with is the round tip one, sort of like this. And encourage them to hold it close to the place where the bristles are, just like they would a crayon. This will help them get a better result. So let's put in the orange. Remember to do your tracing lines so that you don't go outside and don't leave any white spots. So you want to go back and check that you did a good job and you are going to do it in both the duck and the geese. And in the duck, you also want to do his feet into the orange. The body, however, is a yellow, so I'm going to grab a yellow. Now, I'm working with um, watercolor inks. Nowadays, you can get a lot of variety in the types of watercolors that you can pick up. If you would like to pick up watercolors for your toddler, good watercolors for their level right now would be what we call liquid watercolor. And you can get them, most companies will sell them, including Tempera. There is a company by the name of Sargent. They sell them. Um, well, who else can I think of? So this becomes our duck and the goose. Now, I'm going to get a wider brush, but again, let your toddler work with a round tip because the round tip will help them to get more control and they'll feel more confident versus a flat one like mine. short strokes don't encourage them for long strokes across first they need to get consistency on how they move the brush and how the application works out for them so they're looking for things such as those
check for white spots get your toddler into the habit of looking for themselves and if you are working on your own piece alongside your toddler and if you have intentionally kind of left out some areas uh, have them put eyes on it to tell you if they did if you did a good job or not and they'll be able to see it and then you can ask them did you check yours honey and they will go back to their piece and they'll start looking at that to say whether they're happy with what their effort was or not. Now I like to trace my lines with Sharpie pens. Another good um, tool to use when you're working with toddlers when I say toddler, we're looking at our young ones, threes, fours, the kids that are just starting off on their first few motor skills and they're working hard to kind of uh, really get a grip on uh, these um, instruments. And that is my picture for the Duck Duck Goose Goose project. Now, last but not least, let's take away our tape to expose. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed this project. Remember to keep pausing as often as you need to keep up with the speed of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to meeting you in the next video.